Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to use the Blemish Removal Tool here inside of Affinity Photo. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. Hit that notification bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out my channel for a bunch more Affinity Photo projects. Okay, the first thing to do here is just to get rid of this sample right there, get that out of the way. And we'll look at this sample over here. Now, there are lots of different ways of doing retouching on a face inside of Affinity Photo. We'll be focusing on just one tool for this video, and that's right down over here. It's the Blemish Removal Tool right there. So we'll choose that one. Now, notice how this comes in with a pretty good sized brush right there. The default is up here, 50 pixels. If you click on this little arrow right there, you get a slider control. You can slide this back and forth and adjust the size of your paintbrush. I'll put it down about halfway to about 25 right there. There it is, just smaller. You can also use the bracket keys, the square bracket keys on your keyboard. Go over to this side here. So the right square bracket goes larger and the left square bracket goes smaller. That's the easiest way to adjust your paintbrush. Now all you have to do with this tool is just to click on a spot that you want to remove. What I like to do is to come in here and find a spot and then make my brush about that much larger so I have some space around that spot. Now before I do anything here, this will be changing the pixels on this layer, so it's a good idea to always make a copy or duplicate of this layer before you go ahead and begin doing this kind of retouch work. That way, if you mess up, you can always go back to your original layer. So we'll go over here to our background right here. Here's the background layer. Right click on this layer and we're going to duplicate that layer. There it is. You can then come down here, click on this little check mark to hide that background layer, and we'll work on this copy right there. Okay, so we're all set to go. Let's just go over one of these blemishes right here. I'll just cap that once, and it goes away. Now the best approach on this is to find your biggest blemishes first and work on those. Again, it's just a tap, and it goes away. So we'll go through and we'll tap on all the largest blemishes first in the most obvious ones first. Be careful if you're working up along an edge like the edge of the nose here. If you overlap that, it could erase or hide part of that edge. So just be very careful of those kind of spots. Notice how I'm not really needing to change my brush size. Once I found a good brush size, you'll find that it's going to work for most of the blemishes on your image. So just find a nice one, you know, a bit bigger, right there, because there's a little blemish right there, and the brush size is, oh, maybe three times larger. That's about right. And then just work your way around. Again, if there's an edge like this, stay off of that edge. Just kind of edge up towards it, but stay off of that edge. You don't mess up that edge. And work your way around, taking out your blemishes. And that's really all there is to using this tool. It's a very simple tool to use, and it's very, very effective. Don't overdo it. You don't want to begin to lose some of the basic skin tones or skin textures in the picture. Just do just the blemishes. Like that was too much right there. I'll hit the Control and Z keys to undo that. For that, since it's, there's an edge here and there's an edge here, you may want to zoom in on that. We'll come back to that in just a second. Let's just go through and get a few more of these other areas first until it looks like it's reasonably taken care of. And I think we're pretty good. There's still more. I could spend more time on this. The real key to this is just taking your time. Let's go ahead now and come in for some of these harder areas around the mouth where we have some edges to work with. For that, I'm just going to zoom in. We'll zoom in like that nice and tight. And I'll use the left square bracket key and pull my brush size down a bit so I can get up here against these edges and try to get some of these little spots right in there. Okay, that one didn't work. You have to go closer to that one or just ignore it. Sometimes you can't really fix a spot if it's too close to an edge. Okay, see if we can get in even closer in here and see what we can do about that one spot right there. That's a real tricky one. Back to our tool. I'll bring down the brush size some more here. And let's see if we can just edge in. On this that worked okay just had to get in close enough to actually do that all right let's just zoom back out again here I'll hold the alt key down which lets us zoom out hold the space bar down you can move things around like that and there we go I could spend more time on this and do more little work with this tool and get rid of some more of these little blemishes in there but this shows you the basics of how to use the tool and as you can see it works very very nicely I'm going to show the background again down here Let's just hide and show this layer. So here's the before, and there's the after. And again, that's the before and the after. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. 
hit that bell notification icon for notifications of my new videos and of course check out my channel for a lot more training. Alright and I'll see you later.